Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. Today is a double upload day because I wasn't intending to make two videos today, but it's happening anyway. So I was gifted this Magic Mixies Pixlings. I really like these things. Uh, Shimmerverse doll from the newest line of the Pixlings. And I have actually been looking forward to these. I thought they looked pretty cool. We've got new versions of two of the characters, I believe, uh, Marina and... Um, Wow, I do not remember her name, even though I have her. And I thought this one was a new version of the Deer Girl at first, but I don't think she is. Her antenna are different. These are the Pixlings I currently have. I have Winter, this one, whose name I still don't remember. Um, I've got, I want to say her name's Deerla. I think her name's Faye. That one's name is Faye. This one might be named like Deer something, and then the original version of Marina. Uh, three of these were gifted to me by the company as well, but I bought Winter myself. I really like her. So today I have one from the newest line, and I'm excited to unbox her. It's a Pixling Potion Pack, because, yeah. <laughs> so without further ado, let us unbox this thing. Based on the charm at the top, I'm going to guess that I got the purple doll in the middle. She's like a little bear. She's pretty cute. We'll start... Okay. I was hoping that would just rip cleanly. We'll start by removing this to open the package. Okay, is this going to come off nicely or am I going to end up... I hope that wasn't super loud. Alright, so now we have to remove the rubber band here. They always give you a huge rubber band. And, oh, there's another one. Now we have all the potions and stuff. So I think this thing gives us, no, I thought this would be the directions. Okay, where are the directions at again? All right, here they are, the Shimmerverse Potion Guide. Okay, as usual, I think I'm going to need to grab a water bottle, but we start by pouring in the Pixling Power Elixir. Then you fill the bottle with the water, then you add in this shimmering essence, then you add the pixeling magic elixir, a cosmic charm, you remove the ring slash doll stand, turn the moon gem, and then you get the doll. So, I'm gonna have to go grab some water and then I'll be right back. All right, so we just have to remove this piece here. Okay, fell. I'm going to just take this piece off now, the little stand. I like these things, but they don't really work as stands. I mean, they do for Winter and Faye, but the other dolls I have, not really. Okay, so we have to start with potion number one. Mmm, this one's always fun. I never spill it. All right, and we dump that in, holding on to it so it does not spill on the carpet, because I always... I always do this on carpet. I'm not very bright, am I? I got some of it on my hands and it disappeared. I think it's disappearing ink, but it's sticky. It feels like soap. Step number two is fill the bottle to about this line here. I've got an unmarked water bottle here full of sink water. So now we just pour that in and wait until it reaches. God, how much water is this gonna take? The bottle's almost empty. Okay, we made it. Takes a lot of water. This is how much I have left. We add the shimmering essence, as it is called. Some cute little stars. Just shake those in there. We get them all? Ye no, we're missing one. Get out. Okay, I think it went in. Now we add our pixeling elixir. Another, another liquid. Oh boy. Pray for me. All right, and this is just also dark blue. I was kind of hoping it might be like pink or something, make a nice different color. But it's getting very full. Now our fifth and final ingredient, which these now open like this, which is cool, instead of being a rip thing. Adding our cosmic charm, so we're just gonna... Okay, that's not where I wanted it to go, but it went in. So now we turn the moon gem, say magicus mixus, and push down hard twice. Let's do it. Turn the moon gem until it stops. 
Now we push it down. No, we say midget. We say it first. Magicus Mixus. Ooh. Oh, that looks so cool. Sorry about the lame background, by the way. Oh, she's adorable. It's actually really cool how it does that. Like, I don't know, I guess doing that like mixes the water up and that disperses the um, dye. It's so cool, I love how glittery it is. Okay, I'm not actually sure if it's stopped yet because it's still bubbling, so... I don't know, do I just take her out now? Because I think I can. Just kind of pull at the top and she comes out. Oh, there's the charm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's the doll that we made. She did get some of the blue liquid on her face, but overall, she stayed clean for most of it. And yeah, I gotta be honest, she is adorable. I don't know what it is about these dolls. I just find them to be so cute. <laughs> She's just so cute. Look at her little paws. Tell me that's not adorable. So she has a little tail as well as little purple spots all over her legs, not so much the rest of her body. But based on the paws, I think I was wrong about the type of animal she is. She's not a bear. She seems to be a cat. Here's our collector's guide. It's only a little bit damp. So according to this, I made Catlin, the cat pixling. Her cosmic element is starlight and her potion power is dazzling wishes. So in the Shimmerverse, we're entering a new magic realm where Mixies, Pixlings, and Mini-Mixies live together and spread magic across the world, leaving a little sparkle wherever they go. So the other dolls are Marina and Fiona. Oh, Fiona. Okay, so she's not a remake of Deer. I thought so. And there's more. There's more Pixlings to look at. Oh, Catelyn has more to her description. Catelyn's eyes sparkle with cat-like curiosity while her fashions are perfectly posh. She's ready to leap to the stars to ensure everyone's wish comes true. I like how that's all in capitals. Okay, so the other dolls in the line, okay, stop flipping over, include the limited edition Unia. Only 1,000 characters available in Pixling's potion pack across Shimmerverse series. Oh. Okay, so this version of Unia is rare. Okay. I wonder how you find her. Because she also has this version, where she comes with a little pet, but there's also a limited edition version of her. It doesn't seem to indicate, like, which of these will tell you that you're getting Unia, so I guess it really might just be a random chance. Um, yeah, so I got Catelyn. She's pretty cute. To be honest, I think out of the main dolls in the line, not including the ultra rare, this is the one that I would have wanted most. She's super cute and I like cats. You guys remember who my favorite Monster High character is, right? So Catelyn here has a sculpted top with sculpted ruffle sleeves and a real skirt with two layers, this shiny one and this one with tulle on top. Her little mitten hands are attached, they don't come off. And her shoes are these cute little boots. And on the bottom, they got the Magic Mixies logo and some little paws. That's pretty cute. And her nose is shaped like a heart, which I really like. Her hair is a pretty nice nylon blend, and she's got little stars sculpted in her ears, which is pretty cute. Overall, I like this one a lot. I might buy more of these in search of the limited edition Unia, because if there's only a thousand of her, I'm kind of interested in trying to find one. That's a very small quantity for such a mass-produced doll. So here are my other Pixlings, and now we're going to add Catelyn over here to the lineup. It feels kind of weird calling her Catelyn instead of just like Caitlyn, but I'm not against it. So we've got three gold stands. We've got one white stand for winter and a purple pinkish one for Catelyn. These dolls are super cute. I don't know, but I just love them so much. I think they're all super adorable. Thank you again to Moose Toys for sending me Catelyn for free, as well as the other three that I have also received. Again, the only one I've bought with my own money so far has been Winter. And I love Winter. I think she's my favorite. But yeah, I will definitely think about buying some more of these. 
I really like the Shimmerverse line so far. I think that they're cute with the tinsel in their hair and the shiny materials they use. These dolls are currently available on Amazon, but will probably be showing up in stores soon enough. So yeah. Overall, I recommend the Pixlings. They're super cute if you just want a cute little doll. And overall, I still deem Winter to be the best one since she has a fully fabric outfit, unlike the standard dolls that come with sculpted on tops. There's going to be more releases soon. There's going to be some that have very long hair. I think they're called like shimmer hair or something. And they're also going to make larger scale dolls soon as well. Uh, we've seen them, but they come in very big packages. So it's unknown how easy those will be to acquire. So yeah, if you guys would like to see more Pixlings content on this channel, let me know. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.